Hey everyone, my name's Hannah. Today I have a nursery tour for you guys. That's where I'm at in my nursery, or Cade's nursery, I guess. This nursery is really small and we don't have a closet. And I also actually really want to change some things up because as you'll see throughout the tour, I have some stuff that I don't know where to put. Um, and I think if I change it up how I want to, everything will be able to fit. But I really wanted to document what the nursery looks like right now and like when we brought him home. Really quickly, if you guys are enjoying my content and you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I put on a new video and you won't miss any other one. When you walk into the nursery, you see the crib and um, the window and so yeah, but let me just get in here. So if you make an immediate right into the nursery you'll see this wall hanger the light switch and then these two tubs so these five yeah these five right here have clothes to be worn and then that one is clothes that he's grown out of and then on top i just have this cute little cactus light um, found that at hobby lobby scissors for when i cut tags off of clothes a bib and a little rattle rattle thing and then that has all of my pumping parts and the milk saver for whenever I'm breastfeeding um, just to catch like the letdown on the other side. Then you look up and there is his little closet thing. It's, um, it's a cabinet that doesn't have its doors on it anymore and the we had a shelf in it but it's actually down there now. Um, but yeah, this is all of his clothes that we've got for now. So those are hang up clothes and sleepers. And then these are all onesies and pants. Then up on top, we just get a little sign. Um, we actually don't really know where to put that just yet. Um, probably when we reorganize, we'll figure it out. <laughs> the chair with my camera when I take photos. Um, this quilt my aunt made. And then some toys. And then we've got the changing station. Um, so we've got our diaper pail. Uh, this changing table is from Ikea, but Rob actually made a new um, top piece because the changing pad was actually too big for the Ikea like size. So that's the original size down there. And so Rob made it bigger so the pad would fit, if that makes any sense. Um, and then we have just this like white cover thing and this is literally a lifesaver because every time he makes a mess we just take this off and throw it in the dirty clothes and then we don't have to keep washing these over and over and over and over until like you know it's like a really bad blowout um oh there's also a mirror hello and then we've got our diaper changing station so we have diapers wipes um that's aquaphor and it works really 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 well for baby rashes or like um diaper rashes um and then we've got thermometer little booger getter thing <laughs> that's what i call it because i yeah um and then we've got extra wipes some like emergency kit lotion shampoo and body wash stuff and then in the bottom is an extra changing table sheet um the stuff that they gave us when he was first born from the hospital to give him a bath and then some extra white things that go on top and then down below the actual changing table we've got just extra diapers extra wipes and then even underneath we have some extra diapers those are all different sizes and they are all from except for that box and that box they are all from our um baby shower so we've done pretty well <laughs> and then we've got diaper pail extras over there if you just look up at the wall we've got this shelf this was also from ikea um and we've got let's see those two matching things are from hobby lobby this flower vase thing arrangement is from rob's aunt and uncle when we first had kate in the hospital so they are dead and crusty and crumbly but they look really cool so we've kind of just kept them there we have a piggy bank and then a little cactus thing um and then a plant that i got from my baby shower and i really need to water it but again it looks kind of cool um and then we also have 
all of our bands that we had at the hospital. Right here is a little hook thing. It's from Hobby Lobby. Basically, all of the decorations are from Hobby Lobby. And that's from Hobby Lobby as well. I just don't know where to put it. I wanted it so bad and I got it. And then it just, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so that bag is Rob's bag for when he goes out. Then you look down and then this little thing is, I'm not, I don't remember what this is, but it's just like a pole held up by two bars and that holds all of the extra blankets and swaddles that we have for him. Look in the corner and there's a couple more decorations that we don't know what to do with and a big pile of books and a piano toy that we're just, I'm so excited to use. And then this wall is my favorite wall. It was so fun to make. Whenever we were setting up the nursery, I'll leave that vlog here. And you can see us do this. <sighs> so we have the crib. It's from Ikea. Um, we didn't do anything different to it. It's just legit from Ikea. The sheets are from Amazon. They are a little girly, but we didn't know what we were going to have. And I was like, let's just do cactus. Like, I really want to do a cactus theme. And these were pretty much the only sheets like cactus sheets that they had that I actually liked um so yeah they're a little girly but that's okay he he doesn't care he's a baby um and then we have this cute little bundle of toys no these don't stay in here when he sleeps in here he just started taking naps in here even though he's not taking one in here right now but that's so I could do this tour this cactus pillow is from Hungary, I think. I don't know. Um, my sister-in-law, Reagan, gave that to me. So thank you, Reagan. Um, I made that bunny. I made this little um, lovey thing. And then this guy is not made by me. It's actually knitted, I think. Knitted and crocheted, maybe. So yeah, those just kind of stay there and decorate the bed. And they're really cute. So the wall we just taped off and painted um which again you can see this in the vlog but these little sticker things or the the cactus are actual little stickers and they were a bugger to put on um and then this curtain is from walmart and i don't really like it but it's working for now so then we come into this corner and that tub has books in it that is a play mat that my cat peed on so we have to like run it through the wash with this like pet smell killer thing um we've ran it through like a couple times but we haven't used that stuff specifically so we've got to do it again before i try to use it again and then this little cactus is kind of just a little prop that i want to use when he's a little bit older to take pictures and stuff and i found it at dillard's oddly enough that pile is dirty clothes there's usually a basket but you know um, there's clothes in it right now in the other room. So this wall is a little messy. Um, really, if you just take out that stuff in that or that square, it's not that bad. So I guess from the bottom up, that square has um, cloth diapers. That square has something. What does it have in there? That's funny, I can't remember. Oh, okay, like, um, for when he gets a little bit older. So we've got plates and cups and, uh, what is that? A bottle wash cloth thing. A chew toy. And yeah, just some things for when he's a little bit older. That has all of the picture-taking stuff. So, like, the milestone, um wooden things the monthly mat uh to take pictures and then some other milestone stuff and then letters to do the letter board that cube has just clothes extra clothes that's actually for girls um because again we didn't know what we were having so we kind of just bought a little bit of everything like <laughs> a very little bit this one has his toys which there's actually some toys out in the living room right now, but that's what goes in there. And then a little foxy, cause it's really cute. And then our letter board. And this guy holds just a whole bunch of something or others. Um, it's like extra pump parts and stuff like that. And then a candle. 
this is just extra stuff that I'm not really sure what to do with quite yet, but it's out of the way right there, so it's fine. I'm, I don't care that it looks a little messy, it's just, it's there. And then on the door we have his towels. This little spot is probably one of my favorites. Um, it's just little decorations, a book that has some prayers in it, and then this bar holds the clothes that we're retiring so I don't want to put it in the drawer over there that has you know clothes that he's not wearing anymore um, because this was the outfit that he was in constantly when he was itty bitty <sighs> and I couldn't stand to put it away like away away so it's on display and that's from Amanda so Amanda thank you if you're watching I know you are thank you <laughs> so that completes this really small nursery tour without a closet that's what it looks like it's really small but we manage we can we deal pretty well with this it, it fits everything we need thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye